is a travesty when iconic species like golden eel, white-tailed eagles, hen harriers, uh, goshawk and red kites are all poisoned, trapped or shot illegally. slashed the Mona Lisa with a knife. You're destroying part of our heritage. The raptor persecution is exactly the same as that. Operation Wingspan, it's a Police Scotland led uh, operation, it's a year long. Uh, there are six wildlife crime priorities uh, that, that we deal with as police wildlife crime officers. The operation uh, is going to be focused on them six wild, wildlife crime priorities. At the, obviously at the moment we're talking about raptor persecution. We're going to be working with our partners and agencies to have a collective uh, strategy and focus to prevent and deter and detect any issues in relation to raptor persecution or any other wildlife crime. What is raptor persecution? People might hear that phrase a lot. What, what are we talking about when we talk about that? Yes, uh, basically it's the persecution of birds of prey. Uh, in a nutshell, uh, that's killing birds of prey illegally by many different means. Uh, commonly poison, shooting and trapping. Birds of prey have been protected in Scotland since 1954 and they have been illegally killed since then. And it's probably just in the last couple of decades that we've really got a very good handle just how much of this stuff is going on. Two incidents of late, Aberdeenshire last year, white tailed eagle poisoned, and recently in Indonesia, a red kite poisoned. It's still ongoing. There are still individuals out there undertaking targeted raptor persecution on using poisons that have been made illegal for several years since the 90s and since the noughties. Uh, these poisons are uh, extremely dangerous, extremely dangerous and yes they're still being used and there's absolutely no reason or good excuse for that to be continuing. Uh, it, it's, it's disheartening, uh, it's sad, it's, there's just no excuse whatsoever for anyone to be undertaking poisoning of this kind. You are talking about the destruction of the very best of Scotland's natural heritage, the top predators, the species that people will travel thousands of miles to come and visit Scotland for. These are being killed. Does it make you angry? It does, yes. It'll, it makes me angry. It, likely it makes the rural community ang angry. It makes the public angry. Uh, uh, we, we really need to try and stamp it out. Wildlife crime is extremely challenging. Uh, it's uh, you, uh, yeah, extremely challenging. Uh, really difficult to, to 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 get detections and find out who's doing what and who's doing what and where. Animals don't talk. Witnesses are few and far between. These crimes are happen out in the countryside where no one is around watching. Uh, yeah, it's it's difficult to, to 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 gather that evidence. It really is. I can appeal to the public in relation to raptor persecution uh, as to be the eyes and ears on the ground. Uh, they're out there seeing what's going on hearing what's going on importantly, uh, feed that back through to, through to police or crime stoppers. Penalties have increased, so we have an improvement of uh, you know, unlimited fine for, any, for, all, for wildlife offences now, uh, up to five years in prison. That in turn has allowed us to, to, to utilise different uh, investigative techniques, such as covert surveillance. Since the advent of Police Scotland, um, back at the beginning of 2013. We've seen 
a considerably better level of coordination, a real improvement uh, in the professionalisation of wildlife crime investigation, increased experience, improved training, involvement of partner agencies in that training. I, I think policing, certainly since Police Scotland's form has come, uh, has come forward leaps and bounds in terms of wildlife crime investigation, not just raptor persecution, but all branches of wildlife crime investigation. I think that's really positive. We work really closely with our partners, uh, particularly RSPB. Uh, you know, we work hand in hand. They're our uh, the one avenue, our ex ex expert evidence witness, uh, that can help us uh, push and assist and pursue any investigation. Uh, it's you know, we we can't do it without our partners. We 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 really can't.